I can't do this with you anymore. Huh? What are you on about all of a sudden? I'm saying that I can't handle being married to an ugly woman like you any longer. <laughs> And honestly, why did we even get married in the first place? You're definitely one of the worst choices I've ever made. <laughs> Are you serious about that? Don't you feel you're being a bit rude with that statement? Actually, I don't feel anything, because I know that everything I'm telling you right now is the truth. You're an ugly woman, so I'd like to divorce you as soon as I can. <laughs> Please and thank you. Huh? Please and thank you for what? Recently, we haven't even been talking to each other much, and now you've just come out of nowhere with this childish attitude? Shouldn't you at least be thinking about talking this all over face to face first? <sighs> Life is too short to be doing things like that. And the time we've already had with each other is all but a huge waste. I don't even have the time to come talk with you anymore. <laughs> you understand me? So you really, really do want to get a divorce then? Is that what'll make you happy after all this time? Oh, I'm telling you, it'll mean the world to me. I've even gone ahead and gotten the divorce paper all filled out and everything. If you can come and fill your own parts and hand it in for me, then we can finally say goodbye to this unfortunate marriage. <laughs> You've been telling me these past few days you were very, very busy. But it seems you still have time to get all that work taken care of, huh? I don't have a clue what's happening right now, to be honest, but I guess there really is no other option. Can you at least tell me why you want this divorce? I told you, you're ugly! I'm sure that my face has not changed much during the five years we've been married. Are you sure this isn't just about you cheating on me with some younger, cuter girl or something like that? Well, you might actually be right about that. <laughs> I do have myself another girl and she's a far more important girl than you. Like I said, marrying you really was an awful choice. And so I want to fix that by getting rid of you right here, right now. Well, when you put it like that, I really have nothing I can say in response. If it's a divorce you want, then that's what you'll get. I'll make sure to sign my parts of the paperwork, but I won't be turning it in until I have the chance, okay? Just as long as you get it taken care of soon. <laughs> I want to hurry and turn my life around with more of this amazing girl of mine. And I feel the same way of not wanting to overstay my welcome with you. I'll make sure to get this all taken care of in a timely manner for you. Well, thank you for everything up until now. I'll make sure to contact you about anything that happens between us after this as well. You're not coming back to my house again, right? Huh? What are you talking about? I plan to still come back home once I've finished work for today. Why do you plan on coming back here after we've already gotten divorced? This is my apartment, I don't want you here. Huh? Your apartment? Hold on, I think you have things a little mixed up here. I want to know why you keep coming back every day. It's not like we're married anymore. And all you are to me now is my ex-husband. So, why? <laughs> why are you asking me? I wanted you to get out of this place the moment you handed in that paperwork, and I'm sure that hurt, but please just go away. I'm getting really close to losing all my patience with you. What patience are you talking about, Joseph? You're the one that had been cheating on me and then decided to ask for a divorce over text. There's no way you've done any of that in good conscience, right? No, I can't do this. I'll have to tell you straight then. I plan to have my new girl here, so get the frick out. Wait, are you really saying that right now? Are you really telling me to get out of there? I made that pretty clear, didn't I? This is my apartment, so get the hell out, you ugly dog. Well, I guess there was no helping you getting this angry over a simple mistake. I'll do as you wish and get out of here. But... I wonder if that means you'll be able to continue living here afterwards. Huh? <laughs> Do you even understand what you're saying? My girlfriend and I really want to start our new lives here, but you're still coming back every day after work and that's putting a stop to my plans. So quit it and go away like the loser you are. Loser? Who did I lose to? You lost to my girlfriend who's way better than you in all aspects, and since I've gotten my way in the divorce, I'm the winner as well. <laughs> But what if this is something where there's no clear winner or loser just yet? If you really want to look at it that way and pick the winner, perhaps I'm the one that's won after breaking free from a butthole like you. Eh, say whatever you'd like. <laughs> anyway, she's gonna be moving into this place tomorrow. So you even set all of that up without asking me. Alright then, I'll grab all of my things and get out of there for ya. Hurry up and get on with it. <laughs> I still have no idea why it's taken you this long to realize that. Did you really have that much trouble understanding that I've gone and divorced you and have thrown you away? You think so? I never thought all of this is you throwing me away, but... I 
should be careful how you're viewing all of this, okay? Then what was this to you? Did you think that after we got divorced that you'd just be able to live in my apartment for however long you wanted? I'm telling you that from tomorrow, this place will be where my girlfriend and I will start our new lives together, so I wanted you out of there by the end of today. Then I'd like you to pay the $8,000 rent for that place, please. What? I'll do as you wish and leave the apartment, but do you think you'll be able to pay this month's rent there? Do you really understand the situation you're about to be getting yourself into? You're a freaking idiot. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? I'm just saying that by all the things I do know, I can tell you'll have a real big problem trying to pay to stay in that apartment. Seriously? Of course I can pay for this place. <laughs> this won't even be as bad as the loans that you have to keep on paying off. And if need be, I can just take out a loan myself to pay the rent here. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about when you say paying off a loan? What? Oh, shut up, please. Why do you want to start talking to me about all this now? It's not like I actually care to talk about any of this, but... I'm telling you that it's a really good idea to get out of here sooner rather than later. <laughs> I can already tell you that you have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to my apartments. Huh? <laughs> well, whatever, I guess. I understand. You're sure about this though, right? I've been very sure this whole dang time. The only person that has been having trouble dealing with all of this has been you. I wonder about that. Well, just know that I'm not paying for this month's rent, okay? I'll make sure to change the name on the apartment over to you as well. It's always been me, you dunce. <laughs> uh, maybe next time you should try and think a little harder before trying to talk with me. I'm sure it hurts too much to think correctly knowing that you've lost everything though. I'm the loser? Right. I'm planning to live in this apartment for as long as I want with my girlfriend, so just get lost already. I'm going to leave, but just be aware that you'll start having to pay $8,000 a month from now on. This will be my last time warning you of that. I've been paying $200 a month for this place, so there's no way you're telling the truth. <laughs> now stop trying to play games with me and get out. Ah, uh, so that $200 is the reason you're thinking all of this. I fully understand you now. Well, I'm gonna get going. Goodbye forever. Why do you want to talk to me now? I have nothing I care to talk with you about now. And actually, I'm still in the office working. I want to ask you about the truth regarding the rent here. Rent? Ah, uh, you're finally coming around to understanding that. <laughs> no, I'm still very lost. I got a really strange bill in the mail today. And I have no idea what any of this means, so I wanted to ask you if, uh, you know, if this was some kind of a scam. Strange bill? I just got a bill asking me to pay $16,000, and I have no idea what this is all about, so I had to talk to you. It has my name and information all correct here, but why? It says that this is for the rent. Joseph, you still have no idea what's going on? Huh? That's what I was talking about last month before I left the apartment. That's how much it costs to live in that apartment for two months. The rent for this place? What? I told you last month when we were talking about that rent, it would cost you $8,000 a month and that I would no longer be covering it. That's why now you're going to have to pay $16,000 for this month. That's all that bill is for. So, why are you having to talk with me about it after a month has gone by? Hold on a second! So this is really how much it costs to rent this apartment? You're saying that we've been paying $8,000 to live in this place? Really? That's exactly right! I seriously never thought that you were telling me the truth. I just assumed that I was paying off a loan this whole time. How the hell have you been paying for this every month? Loan? <laughs> Why would I ever have us move into a place like that if I couldn't pay for it? Also, I have something else to tell you about all of this. There was a huge difference between the amount of money you brought in compared to what I was bringing in. That's why when it comes to the rent, I was paying for all of it. I just assumed though that when you started living with me, you would have understood the fact that I was making more than you. <laughs> Is that true? I don't remember you ever telling me any of this. Well, that's the reason why I've been the only one paying the rent. But that was fine. After all, I was making bank, so affording that place for us was nothing. Well, I have no idea why, but you always thought that for some reason that apartment, that really insanely nice apartment, cost $200 a month. Well, now I know what you were talking about every time you said you paid the $200. You were talking about paying what you thought was the rent. So you were talking about the rent and not a loan. 
I never once thought that after you left I'd be getting a bill asking for this much rent. Why 8,000? Didn't they accidentally add one too many zeros here? Well, even if they did add an extra zero, you still wouldn't be able to afford the place. <laughs> I can't believe you thought that you only had to pay $200 a month for that. <laughs> Didn't you tell me that though a while back? You said that it was fine to pay only $200 a month on the place. That was me talking about the part you owed me for the rent. I remember now. However, it seems that you thought that meant the apartment only cost $200 a month. And so that's why you felt like you paid the rent? Because of that $200 a month you gave? Even though I was paying the other $7,800? <laughs> that's way too funny to be a real excuse here. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is actually going on? Huh? Are you sure this bill wasn't just from a scam that was trying to scam me out of $16,000? That's what's been going on. This bill in my hand is just some bullcrap that you tried to pull on me, huh? There's no way I'd been paying for this place all this time if the rent was $8,000, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for this, okay? I don't believe your scam one bit, you loser. Well, you don't have to believe what I'm saying, but as you can see on that bill, payment address is to the realtor company, right? So why would I have you be paying that realtor if I wanted the money? Are you seriously not thinking that straight right now? Why do you always act like I have no idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> Crap, so this really is the real deal then. There's just no way that I should be having to pay $8,000 a month for this place. This is twice the amount I'm making a month. I see. Then why not leave the place? Huh? You think it's that easy? You really wanted to live there no matter what I said before, and that's why I made you the sole renter of that place. But if you can't pay it off, you're gonna have to leave soon, right? Well, of course, you're still gonna have to pay off the rent for this month and last month. I wonder if you'll be able to handle all that money in one payment. And another thing, since you're leaving in the middle of the year, you're gonna have to pay a fine for breaking the contract. Good luck dealing with all that on your own, okay? <laughs> Wait, I have to pay a fine as well? I wonder if there's something else I can do. Even having to just pay off two more months of living here, I don't want to pay that much. Ah, and this is another thing, but you'll still have to pay off the settlement you owe me. <laughs> huh? I want it all paid to me really soon, okay? But I have some doubts that'll happen at all because of how much money you already owe and how little you make. <laughs> a, a settlement? Why are you talking about that now? Why do I have to pay you for everything? You're saying that I have to pay you, right? Well, this isn't something out of the blue, right? The whole reason for a divorce was because you cheated on me, correct? Well, I'm not saying that I didn't have reason for wanting to leave you besides that, but still. The main reason for the divorce was you cheating on me, and that's what led to me asking for a settlement from you. And so with that, I'm expecting you to find some way to pay me for that. If you think about it, this was all gonna happen regardless, right? Uh, so really? You're gonna ask me to pay a settlement to you? Well, I had asked this a month ago from you, actually, and you should have gotten a notice in the mail from my lawyer. Huh? Ugh, it doesn't matter. All that I really care about now is getting my money from you. But luckily, you're still young enough that I guess I can wait a while for you to get everything to me. <laughs> I've been preparing myself for this, but I'm sure you still have a bit of preparing to do now. If you'd like, I can have my lawyer come over and see you sometime, and he can explain everything again. Your lawyer? Do you really have to do all that to me? Well, good luck, Joseph. Wait a sec! I can't even pay off all this rent, and now you expect me to pay you as well? Even if you are just messing with me, I can't ever pay that much off. Do you not understand how terrible of a situation I'm already in? I do understand, but what does that have to do with me? If anything... This is all on you for not understanding your own situation before divorcing me and kicking me out of my own apartment. Uh, but can't we at least discuss this in person? In person? I have nothing else to discuss with you. <laughs> I can understand wanting to take the time to talk this through back when we were married, but now we're just strangers to each other. And also, I really don't care to have anything to do with you for the rest of my life, nor should I have to. I suppose your best bet now is to take out some loans and borrow the money to pay everything off. Well, you still have the time. <laughs> You'll have to make all this quick so that your girlfriend doesn't catch on and leave you. Rebecca, can you wait for me? I don't want to have to deal with all this on my own. I'm not even going to be able to pay everything off with just my savings. Please, can you help me? This is what you deserve, bud. You're a piece of garbage and need to understand that. <laughs> now, I'm going. I'm sorry about this, but I'm far too ugly to stick around with you. <laughs> Thank you.
In the aftermath, Joseph was taken to court by the realtor agency for not paying his rent the last couple of months and was forced out of the apartment complex. And the girl that took Joseph as a man with lots of money and a good future ran away from him the moment she realized the truth. So now Joseph has been left with nothing but the streets as his home. And as for his job in the office, the rumors of what happened began to spread quickly and soon he found himself without a job as well. On the other hand, Rebecca has gone back to living in another nice apartment all to herself. And now she's begun to understand just how wonderful it is to live as a single woman with all the money she earns. She sees now that it was a blessing to have been divorced by that pile of crap man, and now she has all sorts of fun things to look forward to as a single woman. Of course, she also received her settlement from Joseph, but could this mean he had to take out a loan for it? I'm sure that's the case. <laughs>